Bastion here with a full sync challenge guide for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Sequence 9 Memory 3 Family Politics has two challenges, to steal a carriage without entering the courtyard, and to avoid letting said carriage's health drop below 50%. Here we are in the mission area, the, the courtyard in question is behind us, the carriages in question are behind us. We cannot enter the, co the, car the courtyard back there, we can't even jump on the carriages there. It took me a while to figure this one out, what we need to do is lure the carriages out by causing a disturbance. So we'll need to distract it. Head out down here. Any of these guards down here, you can fight. Uh, bring them out here. I didn't know what that uh, that uh, newspaper boy down there was doing. I thought maybe, hey, I could get him to distract somebody. Maybe that's the case. I don't know, but this works. Okay, start a big fight, kill some people, cause some trouble, and the carriages will start making their way out. <laughs> Actually, two carriages come out this way, and I could have grabbed either one. I only saw one, and I didn't even see it for a while, but if you watch the background right here, there's the first of the carriages that comes out. As I fight, it starts circling and preparing to exit. And here comes a second carriage. And both exit at about the same time. We really could have taken either one of those. Probably should have taken the one that was right there. But I started to panic and went after this one. Didn't really need the carriage because it stops here shortly. Probably shouldn't stop and fight too many guards here as there are, will be a plethora of them. But you should reduce their numbers significantly enough. Ah, there goes another one of the carriages. We could have stolen that one. Alright. Reduce their numbers significantly enough that you won't have to worry about uh, them jumping in a carriage and damaging your carriage as you drive away. So especially the ones that are in carriages, try to kill. Like that one, who who knows what he was doing there. Not a great royal guard, just sitting there on his hands, right? Alright, we've got plenty of guys coming after us still. Finish off a couple more of them, and then we'll jump in our carriage and try to complete the mission without damaging it too much. I did not do a very great job on this particular playthrough of keeping the carriage from getting damaged because I managed to get caught. The number one thing you want to do is avoid getting in fights with the police or with the blighters because doing so will uh, let them damage your carriage. Alright, after this guy I think we've had enough. Let's go ahead and grab the carriage and run. You're currently sort of incognito. So it's a good time to go. I've already got just a little bit of damage to the carriage, but not very much. We will bring it within a hair's breadth of 50%, and I apologize for that, but this will still serve as a decent guide uh, for how to avoid dropping the damage too much. If you drop below 50%, just restart at the checkpoint, same as any full sync in any of this, uh, the AC games since uh, AC3 when they implemented uh, checkpoints for this kind of stuff. Okay, so we've just picked up the first guy, or we've just picked up Singh, and we're going to go get the first guy. There are three politicians that we need to go and pick up and let Singh talk to. Um, drive sort of carefully, but you don't need to worry about it quite as much as when we had the Gladstone's carriage and couldn't take any damage without failing the full sink. Here is our first politician. We're going to drive him around. Thing is, you're going to have a time limit, so you will need to reach an objective marker before the time runs out. So you will need to drive quickly. You can't just uh, follow traffic. There is going to be a carriage accident up ahead, which provides a small, meaningless obstacle for you to drive around. Um, so just make your way around that. Follow your uh, the path shown to you for your objective marker, and you should be able to get there in decent time. Don't drive too fast again. You may use boosts on the straightaways, but as I said in the previous mission, using or uh, two missions back with the Gladstone's carriage, using boosts will make it so you lose some of the control that you have. Okay, so here's the end of the first trip. We'll drop him off, go pick up a second politician, and drive him around. Again, this mission is a big old long haul in terms of the full sink. Um, but any time, if you drop below 50%, you can just restart at the checkpoint. I don't know if it will refill your health fully. I doubt it. But you will probably get back to whatever amount of health you had in the carriage when checkpoint started. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? 
No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. Watch out for that carriage right there. It will cause you a little bit of trouble if you hit it head on. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrett. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. The fraud that Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. All right, here we're at the second point. I got caught right there. It's not going to be too big of a deal right now because these guys are on foot. If you get caught by guys in carriages, that's where you're going to lose health. So here we are at the objective marker. We're going to pick up our second politician, drive him around for a little bit, let Sing try to convince him, at which point we will reach... Uh, we'll drop them off and go and get the third one. Okay, so we get caught again there. It's okay. They're not in carriages. I'm not worried about it. As long as they don't manage to board your carriage, you're okay. <clears throat> so leave the park, follow the path that's presented to you and drive as quickly as you can while still trying to drive safely. I'm not sure if this is the one where I managed to get caught or not. I believe it is because I brought it down to the last few seconds. And this one's pretty short. Maybe not. We've got a straightaway. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. I'll let you know. Here it is. Here it is. We got rammed by a police carriage. That is trouble because look at that. He rammed us and we're almost down to 50% already. So I'm going to do the safest thing possible. Get the heck out of the carriage. I know I only have 30 seconds left at this point, but it works out. And okay? finish these guys as quickly as you can if you have to get out and kill them. Or you may have to restart at a checkpoint. It can happen and it can be burdensome, but it's okay. Alright, 15 seconds. I think we can make it. We're only about 30 meters out. There we go. So if that happens to you, if that carriage tries to ram you, slam on the brakes and let him go first so that you don't have the same problem that I did just there. Okay. So here we are. I'm going to drop this guy off, and then we're going to go and pick up our final politician and drive him around for a bit. At this point, because I'm down to basically, I don't know, like 52 or 53 percent health, I have to drive as carefully as possible because mm, a couple of hits, maybe, and I'll be gone. I think I do get hit barely by one carriage at one point, drops me down just a little bit, and I still manage to keep above 50 percent. So here we are picking up the last politician. I believe this is uh, Gladstone, isn't it? Yes, it is, Mr. Gladstone. I don't know how... We how he just keeps coming back, right? Okay, so we're gonna drive him around. We've got a bit of a longer drive right here. We've also got a significantly more time than we did on the last drive. Take your time, drive carefully, especially if you're in the same situation where I was, where you've only got like, just barely over 50% health because I really don't want to restart at a checkpoint. Oh, see, I hit that carriage, not just a slice of health off making me really nervous right here, but yeah, slow down, take the corner carefully, and working our way to the objective. Everything's going to be all right. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule in much All right, here we are dropping Mr. Gladstone off. After this, all we're going to have to do is return the carriage. When we do return the carriage, you just want to go and get the carriage to its position. Uh, get out and fight any guards that come after you. Um, just get to the position quickly so that no one will damage the carriage while you're still in it. You just need to get out so that it won't uh, get damaged further. I'm going to skip this cutscene. There we go. And now for our final objective to return the carriage. The last couple sequences I had a few of these objectives that were just real long hauls to go through the entire mission without messing something up. Um, they're a little bit more open for interpretation when it comes to guides. There's no distinct objective way of accomplishing things. If you have feedback on any of these, I do appreciate feedback in the comments, especially specifically with your methods that you find that are better. If you have a better method, I may uh, provide a revision video. I've still been intending to do one of those for, for Black Flag. Somebody gave a way better tip uh, for doing uh, Black Bart's Gambit years ago. 
Um, and I've intended for this whole time to make a video thanking them for that and showing their method because their method works so much better than what I showed in my video. Anyway, like I said, get here to the objective marker, jump out, finish off any guards that come after you, and once you are incognito, leave the area, and the mission will be done. If you can, get multi-kills because they're the best part of this game. <laughs> Those two guys like they're like, what, what, what's going on? Nothing's going on. All right, time to leave. I uh, better not get detected. I don't want to have to lose them, so we'll go back and use the rope launcher to get up and above them. Once we're gone and we're out, the mission will be done. If you like this incredibly long guide, please give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content. Share with your friends. And as always, just have fun.